Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So, I'm guessing you've read the title already and seen the thumbnail. So, uh, yes, a few days ago on Thursday, I got to see the first two episodes of the upcoming Fallout TV series over on Prime about a week early, which is really, really cool. So, um, I thought you might like to know what I thought of it and the impression I got and stuff. So, uh, a couple of orders of business before we dive in, give you a bit of wider context and a little bit of disclosure as well, so you know what's going on here. I was invited down by Bethesda, I was there as a guest of Bethesda, so that's really cool. They shipped me and a number of other content creators down to London and put us up in a nice hotel and took really good care of us, looked after us, had a really, really nice time. Had a great time meeting everybody there, meeting people from Bethesda, meeting uh, other content creators. They, they looked after us, so uh, very, very grateful for all of that. Obviously, we got to see the show. And um, to kick things off, my first impression is that it was absolutely fantastic. I was really impressed. So, dialing back a little minute, the, the wider context for you, it was a, an advanced showcase in a particular set of circumstances, so yeah, about a week before it comes out, we had um, a press there, folks from Bethesda, the folks from Amazon, we had uh, the cast were there, directors and writers and showrunners and all that. Todd Howard was there as well, though I didn't get the opportunity to meet him, unfortunately. Fellow was uh, rather kept busy. <laughs> Not surprising, lots of press and things like that going on, so uh, unfortunately didn't get to meet him, but uh, did get to be in the same room as him while we watched it, so that was very, very cool. So, no spoilers in this, not going to share any details on the story, anything like that, um, partly because they asked me not to, partly because, well, obviously I don't want to do that anyway. So, yeah, but uh, I'm allowed to tell you my various impressions and stuff, so that's cool. So, in short, yeah, they brought us down there, all um, suited and booted as you do. There was a, a really nice entrance. It was all themed around sort of watching the episodes inside a vault, sort of Vault 33, the one that occurs in the series. You'll have seen it in the promotional materials there already, the trailers, stuff like that. And um, I'll throw some of that footage up. So yeah, they had uh, a number of, sort of old cars from the equivalent of the pre-war period in Fallout, sort of 50s style, um, on the, the way up to the entrance. So those were really, really cool. I'll put some of my pictures from the event up as well. Um, and that was cool. And then we headed on in through a vault door, into a corridor that led on into the space that we were in, which was actually um, technically a studio of some kind, I think, like a, a filming space. And uh, we came down this vault corridor into basically what is, I think, modelled on the atrium. I think that would probably be the right word, the right name for the room, from the trailers and stuff that are out already. So you recognise the vibe they're going for with the, the footage I'll throw up. Um, yeah, it was really, really cool. They obviously went all out for this uh, setting, and uh, it was... It was mad. <laughs> I really didn't expect to be in a situation like this or invited to an event like this. Yeah, so very, very cool. And we got settled in and we got to watch the first two episodes. And as I say, I was so impressed. It's so cool. Um, they've done an, an amazing job of bringing video game to the screen. And um, yeah, it's even better than I could have hoped for, is my initial reaction. Obviously, we all know what the, the history of video game adaptions is like. Everybody is uh, kind of on bated breath until they see, because sometimes these don't work out. The, based on the first two episodes, this has worked out. It's really, really cool. The cast are absolutely amazing. They've obviously given it their all and uh, given some wonderful performances. That's really cool. Uh, the visuals are absolutely fantastic. I know some of the pre-release stuff, either some of the leaks, mm -hmm. And uh, some of the very, very early promotional stuff that came out was evidently released before the post-production crew got their hand on it. You know, the, all that work that gets done after principal photography. And um, maybe didn't show it in its best light back then. But now that they have had their hands on it and all the post-production stuff's done, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. So um, I think you guys will really enjoy it. The sort of setting scenario is it's, um, without ruining anything, obviously it's a new story, new characters, new location, and so on, at a slightly different time. Uh, in terms of its style, it's kind of Fallout 4 era of the, the larger Fallout space in terms of the visual style. It's definitely drawing heavily on Fallout 4 for it, which um, is cool. Uh, so if you're a big fan of the Bethesda stuff, then you'll absolutely enjoy seeing this. Uh, I suspect being realistic for a moment, there are people out there who would have wished it to be more like Fallout 1. Um, they probably knew they weren't going to get that already, and they're not. So yeah, it's um, it's the Bethesda era style, which it is obviously, of course it is. That's what Fallout, has, Fallout is now. And like I say, I really enjoyed it. They did a really, really good job of bringing it to life. Um, the story looks like it's going to be very interesting, such as it is. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. Um, and setting, the environments, the characters, everything that seemed to be pure fallout 
Um, it's absolutely filled with wonderful bits of fan service that are brilliantly done without being... It, these things can sometimes be a bit weird. In this case, they're absolutely spot on. They've really captured the magic, the humour, the tone, and the vibe of Fallout in um, a live action format this time. So it's really, really impressive. I it's really, really cool. I am very, very much looking forward to seeing a whole bunch more. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to end up going around in circles if I keep trying to go on about this too much longer. So um, my first impressions in short, it was really cool. Characters are cool, looks great, and uh, I was very, very impressed. In terms of um, sort of law friendliness and things, um, it seems to be pretty solid on the law. This is a new entry into the Fallout universe, and it does add to the existing Fallout law. So there are some things in there that might seem a little bit strange on that front. That may or may not bother some people. This happens every time a new game comes out as well. They put new stuff in there and people have opinions. Uh, so I imagine that's probably going to happen this time around as well. But it's really cool. There were a couple of choices I felt that probably wouldn't have happened if it was a Bethesda game as opposed to a series. So that was an interesting thing. Um, not 100% sure how I felt about those things, but we're talking out of about two hours of um, what we saw uh, a few minutes. So that's that. And even those things that had me scratching my head a little bit, they were still really darn cool in their own right. So, okay, <laughs> it's just new stuff in the Fallout universe. Um, very, very much enjoyed. So yeah, I would say um, absolutely encourage you to check it out. It's going to be out on uh, the 11th, so that's this coming Thursday, on Amazon Prime. The whole series drops all at once, so you'll be able to jump straight into it. If you're wanting to avoid spoilers, we'll probably do that sooner rather than later. Um, as a FYI for anybody who doesn't have Amazon Prime, you may want to consider the idea that they are continuing to do their whole kind of um, free trial thing, which I'm not getting anything for saying this, by the way. It's just, you know, if you were not wanting to shell out for that, then maybe take advantage of the free trial and then you can have your cake and eat it. So yeah, that's a thing you might want to think about. But yeah, that's where it's going to be on Amazon Prime, and I absolutely cannot wait to see the rest of it. I will be all over that on Thursday. And uh, going back again, it was a really, really cool experience that I would never have assumed was going to happen, and I'm very, very grateful to have been invited. So uh, massive thank yous to Bethesda for that, and uh, especially to the individuals who did the, the hard work in making it all happen and taking good care of us. I am very, very grateful for that as well. Fantastic time. They looked after us, and... Uh, an amazing rare opportunity to see something that was really really cool and the next thing in the fallout universe which obviously is uh, clearly right up my alley and i thoroughly enjoyed it, it was great so uh yeah very very excited to see this uh, later on in the week and um, yes so i'm gonna leave that there thank you very much for watching i hope you guys are as excited for this as i am can't wait um you know likes and subs are if you want to hit those buttons very much appreciate if you are new to the channel and you have to find this video first, so much Fallout content here that you will be busy for a very long time. If you want to dive into that, do have a look around. Um, some notification bell, all that. Social media links down below as well. And uh, channel memberships on that blue join button if you want to support the channel that way. Really, really helps out. Join us for live streams as well. We are, of course, playing Fallout as well as the other bits and pieces as well. So um, have a, a little look around the channel. You'll see what I'm on about there. Lots of cool stuff. And I do hope you'll uh, join us for that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.